Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, um, I'm currently working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, but unfortunately, I'm kind of running a bit late. Um, yeah, I kind of went over long on my, uh, on my afternoon nap, so I'm trying to make up for lost time here. So, this video here is going to be a bit rushed. So, but, uh, this is just a game that I picked up here, um, I'd say about a week ago. Um, I fell, fell in love with it. Um, I... I played the first version of this uh, back when back when Flash Player was still in existence. I played this on the Congregate website, like back in the 2010 summer. But anyway, before I continue on, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some music on. Uh, this is gonna be We Love Wizardry, and uh, this actually came out in the late 80s. I'm um, like, I can't remember the exact year, but it actually came. It's basically dungeon synth before Dungeon Synth actually existed. Like, you know, um, the musician Mortise, he was uh, he was the founder of it. Well, not, uh, that's not totally true. This album actually, uh, this actually, actually, this actually came out before uh, Mortise's music did, so. But anyway, let me go ahead and throw that on. Okay, I gotta sound check this real quick. Yeah, that's a bit on the loud side here. Let me turn this down. Okay. Yeah, otherwise it's it's gonna feel like I'm uh, talking over it. So. But uh, for those who don't know, The Perfect Tower is an idle game. So and it, it is one of my favorite genre or one of my favorite video game genres. Um, so yeah. And then now I've actually been playing this game for a while, so. I just want to do a tutorial on this. Just, um, just skip combat, skip town, I'll skip all that. So, and this is you, you're on the tower. So, I forgot to mention this is a combination of an um, idle game, obviously, and a tower defense game. See, you got your health down here. When it hits zero, you it's the battle's over. Now, every time your every time your tower gets killed, you'll get resources and you'll also get XP. Um, I don't. Yeah, as you're gaining XP, you can spend it. You know, basic attack, attack speed, hit points, regeneration. But throughout the game, you're gonna get a boatload of other stats. Um, and then one cool feature of this game is if you uh, you have a uh, auto restart. There's uh, I'm trying to think. I think the um. The original, uh, the previous version of this, it didn't have this option until later on in the game. You actually had to purchase it as an upgrade. But uh, until you got, until you got that, you had to sit, you had to sit there and babysit the whole game. You had to keep restarting it. Your tower dies. You gotta, you gotta push restart. That kind of thing. And then I'm gonna set it to double speed. And then you could theoretically just I just set it to 10 seconds, because it's it gives me a chance to figure stuff out. Let's go over here. But what you're gonna do with these resources is you'll go to town, and then also as you're uh, doing these runs, killing enemies, you'll also gain um, uh, you'll, you'll get XP and it'll increase your town level every time you level up. You'll get you'll get skill points, which. I don't know. 
do something real quick. Conversion. You know, so you get various buffs for your various buildings, and as you can see on the right, eventually you're going to be unlocking a whole bunch of buildings, at least 10 of them. And all the buildings, they're basically mini games of some kind. But, as a, this is just a tutorial. I don't really want to put any uh, skill points in the construction firm. Actually, which the construction firm is, as you can see here, you um, you'll buy, you'll build buildings. First one, the first one you'll most certainly want is the workshop. And then what you'll do is you'll take all those uh, those white resource points that you got from uh, doing the uh, tower runs, and you'll be spending them here. And looks like I don't have enough. So. Guess what we'll go ahead and do? And then, um... And then I do need to do one thing here. Um... But yeah, each, um... Each enemy is going to be of a certain element. Turn it down a bit. Unlocking region, so... Eventually, you'll you'll have uh, you'll be able to do water-based damage, which will shut down fire enemies. Um, nature, I think. I think earth, the earth element counteracts this. I might be wrong. I'm currently trying to pull up the, the chart right now. Yeah, I think it's earth. Yeah, you know, so nature is weak against earth, and I believe it's vice versa. Earth. Is weak against nature, I think. Nope, actually, it's uh, electricity. So, yeah. So, Earth is weak versus electricity, but like I said, you can um, eventually, you'll be unlocking various elemental attacks as well. But again, as you're killing enemies, you'll get XP like I did there. And then I'm gonna set it to times five. It just spares me a bunch of micromanaging. Well, I'll just go ahead and restart it. But as you can see here, killing enemies. It's just giving you more and more resources. Well, I guess you learn something new every day. Apparently, I could already skip uh, levels. I didn't know that. Or skip waves. But it looks like you, know, you can only skip one at a time, though. But I'm pretty... Again, in the, um, in the previous version, skipping waves was only available as an upgrade. But it looks like you can do it in this game, but you have to do it manually. I'm pretty sure there's a buff in this game where uh, this will be automatic. Ah, uh, so let's go back. But anyway, this is the uh, this is the meat and potatoes of this game. You'll do some, uh, do some tower runs, collect resources, and then you come back in here and you'll spend them. There we go. So I'm gonna get, just gonna blow the whole load, not like I can do anything else. And then we'll build a workshop. Alrighty, so we got that. Um, now, the workshop. This is going to be your most heavily used building right here. Oh, thanks. I can explain it. And as you can see here, you'll be spending, uh, I'll have to make, I'll have to do some more runs to unlock more, uh, blue currency to make, uh, but 
these are all permanent upgrades. So this is practically going to be your home away from home in this game. And it's also where I'm going to be spending all my skill points. So we'll have... More workshop tier. Each tier of the workshop. Ah, uh, we'll take that one. For each offensive module. That's, um... You saw that in there for each, uh, for each stat. But as you play the game more and more, you'll, uh... You'll learn what modules are. We'll just do this. We'll uh, we'll knock the time down to three. One thing I do want to also want to show, um, another cool feature this game has, although I don't think I'll be able to access it just yet. Yeah. Whenever, um, in this case here, when I, when, um, uh, when I actually complete this, defeating 100 waves of enemies, you'll be able to unlock idle mode. Which is, um, uh, which is about as basic bread and butter as you can get. It's just, uh, you won't, It's, it's kind of hard for me to explain here, but, uh, it's, uh, you'll, you'll automatically gain resources without seeing any of this. Spend them all. And like I said, these uh, upgrades you purchase in here are permanent. And then again, since I don't want to be doing a whole lot of excessive clicking, I'm just going to set it to 100%. Just buy as much as I can with what I got. So, spend them all here. Um, this will give me six levels. Go back in here. And then this will probably be my last run. I might do one more, but we'll see. Lasting a little bit longer. in a bit longer. Oh, big bad boss. Killed him. 
But like a and here comes Ugh. These are nature enemies. You can tell because they're green. Yeah, I'm already one-shotting them, so just focus on attack speed and defense. Hey, unlocked a new module. Basic bouncing. This is an this is a man this is a mandatory module right here. And again, this is just one of many. And it's gonna bounce off additional targets. Let's upgrade that bad boy. Upgrade it to nine, and now it's gonna be. I can't really tell. This is kind of confusing. I guess nine percent chance it's gotta bounce twice. And I got a skill point here. Other. So let's. Spend it on the workshop. I will go ahead and take that. But eventually, I'm gonna max out. I'm definitely gonna be maxing out this when I get enough skill points. But this is what you get when you first start the game. This is how it goes. But. When you get to the level that I'm at here, like I said, I've been playing this one here for a while. You'll unlock look at all these buildings here. You got you got a trading post. You can trade various currencies into others, and uh, you'll get crates. It's kind of a currency, you know, you know that kind of thing. And then you you know say laboratory. You can do. But all these uh, buildings here are basically just mini games. All kinds of different little things here and there. Uh, headquarters, this is where you do a lot of your uh, upgrading. You know, and, um, this game uh, also has a common staple in other idle games called prestiging. Where you'll uh, you'll wipe the slate clean, you'll start completely over, but you'll also be given like various upgrade points, or you get various perks designed to, basically designed to help you get back up to where you once were quicker. So. And then again, you can spend currency here, but you know, factory. It's pretty much Minecraft here. You can make and craft stuff. Power plant, kind of the same thing. You can... So like I said, it's all these different mini games you got. You know. So. This is what you get in the more advanced areas. Like I said, I've been playing this game for a while. You kind of notice how it gets faster and faster and faster. Soon I'm gonna get overwhelmed.
But yeah, definitely gonna be my last run here. But here's what also also what I was wanting to show: idle mode. Whenever you complete a whenever you complete a an area, you'll unlock the uh, idle mode that goes with it. And what that does, it just um, it takes it takes all the upgrades you have, um, all the areas you've completed. Um, I think it takes, like, your max damage, that kind of thing. And then, I think it divides all that by 60 seconds. If I, if I read the wiki right, yeah, it divides all your, your damage, your damage, your progression, all that, divides it by 60 seconds. It basically calculates how far you could go in one minute, and this is the result. And then you can, and this is what I was doing when I was streaming uh, Gems of War this morning. I have this running in the background as well. It's one of the other things I really like about this game. Because you can set it and set like this, which doesn't use a whole lot of resources. Um, for probably the first time ever, I could actually have two games running at once. This and Gems of War. Because both those games don't use a whole lot of resources. It's not something I could say for at least 90% of my other games. If I try to have two of my, two, any two of those other games going, it'll overburden my computer. So. Oh, and then also, I don't know the exact calculation, but down here, the the time, I think it's for, for, for whatever amount of time you're in idle, like you actually have the game shut off, it'll, this will accumulate, and you can spend however much you want, like one hour, so... Alrighty, um, but yeah, that's that's gonna so that's gonna do it for that. So, like I said, I just want to do a quickie dicky tutorial and just, you know give everybody an idea of how this game plays, cause I am gonna be playing it a lot more. So, possibly during my uh, gems of war streams. But otherwise, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and back to my blog post.